What are the factors that affect the pressure acting on a surface? Okay, what are the factors that affect the magnitude of a pressure? Okay. First is magnitude of the force. Eh? So because pressure equal to what? Pressure equals to force per unit area, right? So the magnitude of the force will affect the pressure. And uh, the larger the force, the higher the pressure, okay? Because the pressure is directly proportional to the force. Eh? Greater force, higher pressure. And second is the contact area. When the force applied on an object, there's a contact area. And uh, the contact area can also affect the magnitude of the uh, pressure. And from here, we can see that. Uh, okay, now can you please tell me, okay? Pressure is directly proportional to area or inversely proportional to area? Yes, from, the, from, from this equation. It's directly proportional or inversely proportional, sir? Okay. Directly proportional or inversely proportional? DP or IP? From these equations, when we see this, okay? The pressure is directly proportional or inversely proportional to the area? Uh, the answer is, is inversely proportional, sir. Okay, it, it's inversely proportional. Anyway, if you don't know, it's okay, like, because uh, suppose uh, you, 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 you learn this in uh, modern math, but I think, okay, I, I think you haven't, uh, your teacher haven't discussed this yet in modern math. Uh, therefore, you don't know what does it mean by uh, directly or inversely proportional. So, so now I'm going to uh, spend about uh, five to ten minutes to explain to you what does it mean by uh, directly or inversely proportional. Okay, because this is very, very important in, uh, in physics. Eh? Directly proportional and inversely proportional are very important in physics. Pressure is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to area, and therefore the larger the contact area, the lower the pressure. So that are the factors that affect things, uh, the, the pressures on the surface. Eh? So now I'm going to explain to you what does it mean by directly proportional and what does it mean by inversely proportional. Let's say we still use the these examples of force, eh? okay? Uh, let's say we have a force act on an object and uh, the area and the pressure. Let's draw a line to separate them. Okay. Let's start with the first case, eh? okay? The first case, let's say uh, the area. The area is the constant, it's the same every time. So let's say the area is uh, one meter square. One meter square, one meter square, one meter square, and one meter square. All the time is one meter square, okay? And if the force, if the force given is two newtons, two newtons, huh? then the pressure, the pressure is two pascal, two pascal. If the force given is uh, four newtons, four newton means two times of the previous one, right? Then the pressure becomes 4 Pascal. And if this one, uh, the force given is 6 Newtons, okay, then it becomes 6 Pascal. So you see, yeah, when the force increased by 2 times, the pressure increased by 2 times. And when the force increased by 3 times, the pressure increased by 3 times. So we call this relationship, uh, we call this relationship directly proportional. So this is what does it mean by directly proportional. Let me give you another case, huh? okay? Let me give you another case. At this time, okay, the area is still the constant, huh? the area is still the constant, but I don't want to give you the, the values of the area, the, the area, okay? The area is the, still the same all the times, okay? Uh, it's right here, okay? It's constant, huh? the area is still constant. Now, if you give two Newtons to a surface, let's say the pressure is uh, six Pascal, six pascals. If you give the force uh, four newtons, then the pressure is uh, 12 pascals. If you give uh, six newtons, then the pressure is uh, 18 pascal. okay? Uh, the area is the same. Eh? For this case, eh, uh, is the pressure directly proportional to the force or not directly proportional? Directly proportional dp, uh, not directly proportional and dp. So what do you all think? So for this case, uh, 2 newtons, 6 pascals, 4 newtons, 12 pascals, 6 newtons, 18 pascals. So this is directly proportional or non-directly proportional? Directly proportional. And uh, yes, that's correct. You see, uh, when the force increased by 2 times, uh, times 2. When the force times 2, the pressure times 2. When the force times 3, uh, okay, 2 times 3 gets 6. Uh, 
the pressure is also times 3. Then this is called uh, directly proportional. This is called directly proportional. So you are correct. Let's see another examples. Now when the force is uh, 1 Newton, the pressure is 3 Pascal. When the force is 2 Newton, the pressure becomes 7 Pascal. And uh, when the force is 3 Newtons, the force becomes 11 Pascal. For this case, uh, is it directly proportional or non-directly proportional? Like the force increase, the pressure increase. So it is, is this uh, directly proportional or non-directly proportional? Non-directly proportional, and that's correct. That's correct. Why? Uh, because you see, when the force increased by two times, uh, the pressure does not increase by two times. Because if it increased by two times, then it's supposed to be six Pascal, right? So this one, uh, when it increased by three times, uh, times three, okay, this one does, uh, does not times three. Okay, if it times three, then it becomes uh, nine, uh, nine Pascal, right? Nine Pascal. And this one Newton, this three Pascal, when this two Newton, if it's six Pascal, uh, then it's okay. Uh, if this is three Newton, there's nine Pascal, then it's okay. But uh, when this two Newton, this seven Pascal, three, uh, three Newtons, 11 Pascal, then they are none, not directly proportional. So that, that's what does it mean by uh, directly proportional, sir? So that is for directly proportional, sir. Say the force is constant, they say the force is the same all the time. Eh? And uh, let's say initially the area is 12 meters square. And when the area is 12 meters square, the pressure is 10 pascal, let's say. 10 pascal. And then so when the area reduced to 6 meters square, then the force, uh, the, sorry, the pressure increased to 20 pascal. And when the area reduced to let's say 4 meter square 4 meter square okay then the pressure increase increase to 30 the pressure to 30 pascal and if the force reduced to uh, 3 meter square then the pressure incre increase to 40 pascal from 12 to 6 uh, from 12 to 6 uh, the area we divided we di divided by 2 right 12 divided by 2 uh, you get 6 uh, but then the pressure increased by 2 times times 2 the area divided by 2, then the pressure times 2. And uh, from 6 to 4 is divided by 3. Yeah? 12, sorry, from uh, 12 to 4, okay? From 12 to 4 is divided by 3, right? 12 divided by 3, you get 4, okay? So you divide by 3, then the pressure times 3, increased by 3 times, yeah? so times 3. And when the uh, area divided by 4, 12 divided by 4, you get 3, then the pressure times 4. Okay, sorry, this is divided by 4, okay? So 12 divided by 4, you get 3, and then 10 times 4, you get 40. Uh, so this kinds of relationship is called inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. So when the area reduced by 2 times, then the pressure increased by 2 times. When the pressure Reduced by three times, then the pressure increased by three times. Okay, when the pressure reduced by four times, the the pressure increased by four times, and this is called inversely proportional. So this is what does it mean by uh, directly proportional and inversely proportional? If F increase, P increase, uh, and uh, then it's uh, directly proportional. But if the area increase, the pressure decrease. This is inversely proportional. The area decreased by two times, the pressure increased by two times, inversely proportional. Area decreased, pressure increased, inversely proportional. The force increased, the pressure increased, this is directly proportional. Eh? Well, let me write here. When the force increased, the pressure increased. Eh? So this is directly proportional. If the area increased, the pressure decreased. Or the area decreased, the pressure increased. Eh? This two uh, is called uh, inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. So that is the difference between directly proportional and increase. Uh, uh, this uh, inversely proportional. Eh? And the increment or decrement must be proportional. So this one decreased by two times. This one must be increased by two times. Eh? This one decreased by three times. This one must be increased by three times. Eh? How do we know? Is inversely proportional or so directly proportional? Then you see eh? P equals to F over A. And uh, this is called the numerator, and this is the denominators of the fractions, right? Okay. For the numerator, this and this is directly proportional. 
But for the denominators, this and this are inversely proportional. So we, we just see whether the quantity yeah, okay, in the fraction is a numerator or denominator. Is in the upper part or the lower part? In upper part, is directly proportional. In lower part, is inversely proportional. So, so for example, so, A equals to XY, XY divided by Z. Okay, A equals to XY divided by Z. So can you please tell me, A is directly proportional to X or inversely proportional to X? A and X. Directly proportional or inversely proportional? Faisal say it's directly proportional. So do you agree with... Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Directly proportional. A and Y? Directly proportional or inversely proportional? A and Y? Directly proportional. Because it's a numerator, right? Upper part. Eh? Then how about A and Z? Directly or inversely proportional? Is inversely proportional. That's correct. So when X increase, A increase because they are directly proportional. Eh? And when y increase, a increase, uh, directly proportional. But when z increase, a will decrease because it's inversely proportional. Inversely proportional, when z increase, a decrease. z decrease, a increase. So that is inversely proportional. So that is what does it mean by directly proportional and inversely proportional. So let's go back to the factors affecting the uh, pressure, okay? So from the formula, we know that p equal to F over A, right? P equal to F over A. Uh, pressure is directly proportional to F. So the larger the force, the higher the pressure because they are directly proportional. Eh? And uh, pressure is inversely proportional to the area of contact, contact area. And therefore, the larger the contact area, the lower the pressure because they are inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. So that is, they are the factors that affect the pressures acting on the surface. Eh?